everyone so I am actually on my way over to take my licensing exam just casually headed to Agora Hills to take one of the biggest exams of my life I'm super nervous but I'm trying not to entertain those thoughts because I know that I have what it takes and I know everything I'm supposed to know like there's not much more I could have done I showed up pretty much all the time at school, I always paid attention, I studied, I mean there's really not much more. If I don't know the material by now, maybe I shouldn't be an esthetician, you know what I mean? That's kind of where I'm at. But anyway, I'm gonna go, I'm super early, like, I'm just gonna go grab um, some breakfast, a bagel, a coffee, um, and try and just relax. I'm not going to do last minute crazy studying, I'm just going to... Um, sorry, there's a lot of people walking by, so give me one second. I'm still not comfortable filming in front of people. Ah, how do people do this in public, like straight up in front, like on the streets? I don't understand. But anyway, um, so I'm just gonna act like I'm on FaceTime because there's like five people walking by. So, hi, mom. <laughs> yeah, just try to relax, not do any like crazy last minute studying. So, you know, because sometimes you just like trip yourself out even more i'm not gonna do that i'm just going to get a breakfast a coffee or maybe matcha or something so i don't crash some prayer and worship in my car because that would be 10 times more effective than just like speed studying you know anyway i am about an hour away from where the testing place is so i'm going to get going and i will see you guys when i get like something to eat All right, guys, drink secured, drink from my friend secured, and I got myself a pesto burrito thing. And I'm like five minutes away from the testing center now, so I'm happy I made it here. And yeah, I'm gonna do a whole sit down part where I tell you guys exactly what my experience was and like kind of what to expect. Um, but yeah, that's coming in this video, so stay tuned. Hi guys, so it's a different day. Um, I was about to do just like my everyday regular makeup routine. I was like, let me just turn on the camera and talk about my experience the day I went to take my state board exam. Okay, so before I start, I already did my skincare routine. Um, I used SkinScript. I'm using all SkinScript things right now because that's the brand I'm going to be carrying now that I'm licensed and I'm ready. Um, I am going to start business soon. Um, I'm sorry, I've disappeared. I've fallen off, just kind of fallen off the face of the earth because I've just been so busy starting up my business. There's so much that goes into it. It's kind of ridiculous. And ever since I was licensed, I've been working on it way before I was licensed, like pretty much ever since I graduated. Um, there's just still so much to do. So I'm definitely gonna make a video. Um, it's gonna be the one, no, two after this video because the next one I'm gonna show you guys that I moved rooms. Um, I am now in the master bedroom of our apartment and then the week after that i will post a video all about everything i needed to do to get to where i am with my business legally um a little bit about finance so if you guys are interested in like what permits and licenses you need um to be a solo esthetician and as an llc that's coming so stay tuned for that coffee break but yeah, anyway, all that to say, I am now using All Things Skin Script because that's the brand I'm going to be carrying and I want to be true to my word when I say that's all I use. And wow, I love this brand so freaking much. I'm going to show you guys quickly what I did this morning as my skincare routine. So this morning when I woke up, I did cleanse my face with 
this green tea citrus cleanser. I absolutely love this cleanser. It is so good for like all skin types, especially if you're like sensitive or rosacea prone or something like that. I don't have sensitive skin. It's just, just a nice, simple cleanse. Um, and then I followed it up with this cucumber hydration toner. I've literally never ever experienced a toner like this before in my life. When you spray this on, your face just automatically, like it feels so hydrated that like, if you didn't wear moisturizer, you didn't wear moisturizer, even though you definitely should. But I'm just saying like your skin, it just adds all of the freaking moisture back in. It's kind of crazy. This is made with heavy water and hyaluronic acid. And this is just literally my favorite thing in the whole freaking world. So I love that and it smells beautiful. And then I went in with the Ageless Hydrating Serum amazing i can't say enough good things about this again this is one of those things that after you put it on you're like do i even still need to moisturize like it just gets so good as the steps keep going like it's so good like these products are there's such a difference between using drugstore and like professional grade skincare the difference is so noticeable that it's kind of ridiculous and then i followed it up with the acai berry moisturizer i this is butter like i was like is this butter like i had to check the ingredients like, this feels like butter on your face it feels so freaking good sorry i'm getting a call from my mom <laughs> BRB. all right and then i topped it off with um their spf i don't know how i feel about this just yet i don't know if it's worth the money i'm gonna be uh i'm gonna be just upfront with you guys um i feel like there's a lot of drugstore sunscreens that kind of do the same thing if anything i like the LTMD a little bit more but i will keep giving this a try okay so i'm going to first go in with my rcma makeup artist palette um these are this is what the palette looks like i freaking love this thing so february 28th i wake up i have barely slept because of course i'm very very nervous i had spent so much studying that i almost felt like i didn't know anything like i don't know if you guys are the same way where you study so much that you're like i don't know anything like you feel like you're just like clueless at the end of it because you've overstudied that was definitely me um so anyway i wake up i give myself plenty of time tip number one give yourself plenty of of time the day of actually let's go back because the real tea is before we even made this appointment so when i first graduated uh, esthetician school they file my paperwork at that breeze easy breeze whatever website uh with like state board for me to be able to take my state board exam and my teacher slash front desk lady tells me um oh you're gonna get a manila envelope in the in the mailbox like it's gonna have all your information it's gonna tell you exactly um what time to go what to bring with you like it's, just wait for this manila envelope that's what it made it seem like like I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna wait around for this manila envelope. Fast forward a whole month, I have not received a single thing in the mail. I I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> I'm being aggressive right now. I'm still kind of annoyed about it because it's like I wasted so much of my time and just waiting around for this manila envelope that was just never going to come, and that was so annoying. So it turns out one of my classmates, um, who I'm really good friends with, was like, you know, screw this. I'm going to call them and I'm going to be like, what the heck is going on? Like, are you guys just backed up? Like, we were under the impression, if anything, we were going to get like a really early appointment because of the whole change in the way state board is now doing things. Uh, there's no more practical exam. It's only a written exam. So we were like, OK, like that should speed things along because, you know, it's computer, it's computerized. So you just, you know, a bunch of people can take the test at the same time. And since there's no practical exam, you know, they're just handing the licenses out like it's nothing now. Um, so, yeah, if you didn't know, there's no more practical exam uh, as long as you're testing after January 1st, which all of us are at this point because we are in 2022. So I was like, OK, we don't have a practical exam. Great. My written exam is the only thing I have to worry about. So I'm waiting around for this manila envelope. It never comes. So my friend is like, screw this. There's something wrong here. I'm going to go ahead and call state board and see what's taking so long. Come to find out my freaking that one friend, bless your soul, April, if you're watching this, texts us and says, guys, um, we're supposed to we're supposed to call, call and book our exam date we're supposed to call them ourselves there's no envelope imaginary theoretical manila manila envelope coming 
you can imagine our surprise. So we call and literally this man, a very nice man um, is like, yeah, do you, do you want to come in tomorrow? And I'm like, tomorrow, like what I, it's been a month. I had, I'm not ready. Like I haven't stepped tomorrow. So that pisses me off because I'm like, oh my gosh, like they are so available for everybody right now. We just didn't know. So we wasted all this freaking time waiting for this manila envelope when re in reality, they have all this time available, all these time slots available. Side note, if you take really good care of your skin and you do your skincare routine all the time and never ever skip, you barely need makeup. I don't even need makeup. I'm, you know what I mean? Not to toot my own, I don't, I don't need makeup. Like I don't need this foundation I'm putting on. It's just formality because it would just feel weird to do a whole look without a little bit of a base, you know what I mean? And some protection. Also foundation does protect you against the sun a little bit. So I like to put sunscreen and a, a nice base all over even if I don't really need it because just that much more protection from the sun. Anyway, I keep getting sidetracked. So we call and we're like, okay, this is BS. So we make, uh, always make an appointment for the 28th of uh, February. So me and three of my classmates that we're close friends with are all get the same day and the same hour. Because that's just how available they are right now. And I went to the Agora Hills location for anybody that's curious or wondering. Okay, anyway, we call, we make this appointment and we all, you know, come 20, February 28th, we all show up. Um, at my school, they had told us, I'm going to set everything with powder. Um, they had told us, like, you're supposed to bring your official transcripts and you're supposed to bring this other paper. You're supposed to bring these, all these things. You don't need a single thing other than your ID and your body. That's pretty much all you need on the day of testing. Um, you don't need anything else. Um, I don't know why my entire school was just under this false... I'm not going to talk crap because, you know, because don't burn any bridges in life. Um... But I feel like we were screwed over just a little bit. You know what I mean? Just a little bit. <laughs> like they weren't aware of what's going on. I'm going to bronze. Um, so anyway, you just need your ID um, and your body. You're not allowed to have a single thing with you inside of the testing room. Um, so just don't take anything other than obviously your license and stuff like that. It never came. It was never going to come. We could have literally sat around for a whole year and just looked like idiots, okay? Up on the day of the test day, I'm like thinking my test hour is at 9.30. It turned out to be at 9 and I get there 8.34. And they had told us to show up 30 minutes earlier. So I'm just pulling up, relaxed with my matcha. Like, and my friends are like, bro, like, where were you? And I was like, chill, bro, we have so much time. And they're like, um, it's 8.34 and the test is at nine. And I was like, whoa, I thought it was at 9.30. And they're like, no, you're on crap. We, I was like, oh crap. So I'm just like, okay, let's go, right? So we go, whatever, they take us. We go in, we fill out this form and then we handed it to them. And um, they had us wait around a little bit and then they, we go, we put all of our stuff in a, in a locker and then they sign us up. They take like our, our picture, was that before or after? I don't even know at this point. I think it was, yeah, it was before. They take our photo um, and all these different things. So they get us like registered and ready to go and, and test. So afterwards, this nice lady leads us into this room where there's just computers upon computers and it's all just everybody sitting you know, next to each other with like dividers and you know, the whole thing. So you go and you sit down and you kind of like, I think you'd like log in or something. I don't know. It's like whatever number was on our key was the number of the computer we were gonna go sit on. So I was like number six, all right, I go sit number six. She's helping other people. I'm already logged in, ready to go. She comes to me, she's like, wait, you didn't need help? I was like, no bro, this is simple. So she's like, okay, cool, bet, good luck, leaves. I open, it gives, it like shoots out this weird, um, here's a sample test like here's what the test is going to look like and it's questions about the united states you take the sample question you move forward it's 110 questions so it's not bad it's not the craziest i do recommend studying on the esthetician exam center app um they're your teachers are most likely going to tell you about this app but that's basically uh how i studied plus some quizlet um online and just like yeah reading my notes and whatnot so 
it was similar to that in the sense that there's 110 questions and on the ex uh, institution exam center app um like the bigger exams are 110 questions so i was like okay that's kind of what i expected so i start and honestly the test my version anyway was not difficult at all it was um some questions on skin disorders and diseases it was um a little bit honestly i didn't have any chemistry ones it was a little I didn't even have too much anatomy. I had a little bit of electricity. Um, what else did I have? It was a lot of like, not scenario based, but kind of like, uh, what would you do first? What would you do maybe last? Or if they have this type of skin, what kind of product would you use? Or what ingredient is good for this type of skin? So it was a lot of like knowing what each ingredient is good for, which is something honestly, the best way I can describe this exam was if I didn't, know the things that it was asking me and if i failed this exam simply put i'm not ready to become an esthetician because it was a very like practical kind of exam it was like things that yeah like you should know you know like you should just know these things um i'm gonna go with blush you should just know these things like it's not it wasn't rocket science at all now my friends after they were done we were discussing our exams and they were explaining how theirs was a little bit harder um i didn't feel like mine was but you might get a different version that's a little bit more challenging so i would say focus on anatomy chemistry skin disorders and diseases disinfection i had a lot of questions on disinfection and sanitation so study up on disinfection and sanitation state board basically just want to make wants to make sure you're not going to go around and give people hiv and ringworm right like that's kind of what they, they just want to know you're clean and you're not a nasty person um so just make sure you brush up on that that's pretty much all um all the chapters that i think are super important skin disorders and diseases for sure uh skin histology knowing the layers of the skin they did ask a lot about like what's the topmost layer of the skin what what layer of skin does mitosis occur like all these different things like what which layer of the skin has like clear cells like these are things that you should definitely definitely know just in general so definitely brush up on your skin histology chapter um learn the five layers of the epidermis learn what goes on in the dermis what goes on in the hypodermis like learn the layers like please um and that'll honestly be enough just study those esthetician exam center exams um, it's $9.99 a month, but I think it's worth it because a lot of my questions were similar. And I will also link below some other places I studied. And that was really, really helpful. My friend found this one website that had like different questions. And a lot of those questions were also on there. So, okay, I'm going to go in with some brow gel. But yeah, so after we take it, I did not... Because it immediately jumped into a survey, so I was just like, ugh, enough of this, and just like kind of rating them and just to leave. Because I was in the, under the impression that I'm going to step out and they're either going to give me an envelope with like, a, the next time I'm going to need to come in and take this exam, like if I failed it, like they're going to give me like a time and date to come back. Or they're going to hand me my, um, I keep wanting to say diploma, they, they're going to hand me my license. So I was like, okay, I just need to finish and leave so I know if I've passed or not. It turns out it tells you at the end, but I had not seen mine. So I like come out and my friend's like, did you pass? I'm like, I don't know. How would I know? And he's like, because it tells you at the end. Like I was like, oh, word. I did not know that. So because um, I was just so eager to get out of that room. So anyway, she, I'm like asking the lady like that is like calling me up to her desk and I'm like, did I pass? Like, can you tell me? And she's like, I'm sorry. I'm like not at, a, at the liberty to say. And I'm like, what's going on? She's like, but all I'm going to say is I'm printing your license. And I was like, just say that. Like what? It, I was, bro. Anyway, so she prints out my license. I'm, I'm licensed now. That's awesome. So I'm really stoked about it. But honestly, I felt pretty good about it throughout the test. So I was like, not that surprised. And yeah, she just prints it out for me. Doesn't even put it in an envelope, which I thought was like crazy because the entire time afterward, me and my friends are just kind of like, what do we do with this? Like, where do we put it so that it's safe? Like, this is kind of the, the most important piece of paper in our entire career. But okay <laughs> so we go outside we do a photo shoot and that's the end of that don't doubt yourself you probably know a lot more than you think you do the test is not in any way meant to trick you so that's really nice i hate when tests are like 
trying to make you fail like I think that's so dumb um this is not that way at all it's gonna ask you things that you should already know so and I know maybe that's not helpful but at least just know it's not going to ask you things and expect you to know things that are just like way out of like what you would need to know on a daily basis it's a very realistic test okay the last thing i do well the last two things i do is i'm gonna put on mascara and i'm gonna pop my falsies on i wear falsies every single day so um yeah i'm gonna do that off camera i'll be right back ah. i wish you guys luck if you have yet to take it if you've already taken it and passed congratulations um and if you have taken it and have not passed don't lose hope I, you are it's you're gonna have the opportunity to take it again and you're going to pass now at least you know what the test looks like and you kind of know what to prepare for and how to study and um, the type of questions you're gonna see so learn from your uh failures and mistakes i'm talking to myself as well i'm not very good at doing that so uh, don't be discouraged life has endless chances um you know to do things over again there's a couple things you can't do over again and you know the first time is the final time but this test is definitely not one of them so um you're gonna do fine i believe in you guys um just crank down study ignore the drama the the hate or the doubt or the you know people doubting you whatever the situation is in your life ignore all of that focus on you if you just you know keep your head down and study hard and do your best all the time you're going to be very successful in life there's no doubt there's no way that's not going to happen if you would just learn to mind your own business learn to trust yourself and always just do your best every day wake up do your best and um you're going to succeed so i'm also speaking to myself like i said because i'm about to enter a really big chapter of my life and i am filled with lots of feelings of just fear of the unknown um, just putting myself out there you know anybody putting themselves out there it's so scary but i am so excited to start my business i've been working hard on it for so long and i can't wait for the next video couple of videos to be on that subject um now that i'm done with my esthetician journey fun fact my last day of esthetician school vlog got deleted off my phone so i had that video filmed for you guys i just cannot upload it because i cannot find it it is deleted off my phone um and that only happened because i uploaded the clips up to onto imovie and i thought that because i have uploaded the clips i can now easily delete it off my phone and that that wouldn't be an issue uh it turns out you actually need to keep the clips in your camera roll still even though they're uploaded onto imovie so that's uh, a rookie mistake on my part if you're gonna do that don't uh because you're gonna lose the f footage i learned it the hard way so um thank you so much for watching if you like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel because i have a lot more content on business specifically coming if there's anything you guys want to see any bits of information i have a lot coming on finances and uh, legal side of business and going solo uh which is a risky move as a Grad, recent graduate who has zero experience in aesthetics but i just want to i i know myself i know i don't want to work for anybody else i know i want to take the risk and just jump in and start my own business um so i'm going to take you guys through that entire journey with me i'm going to explain everything there is to know i have been documenting it all really well um in here <laughs> so i have lots of information to share with you guys but if there's anything in specific you want to watch uh please let me know i'm going to be making a lot more videos now that i have a brand new phone and i just got so much more storage space so that i can actually record in peace and not worry about running out of storage so a lot more videos are coming thank you guys for being so patient and i hope you have an amazing day Bye.